Hello everyone and welcome to the Nanafosu Jiab War Park in Bechem for our continuing coverage of the Ghana Premier League. It's already match day six. The competition is getting keener, hotter and even better. And this afternoon we are going to see a top liner clash between two teams that are battling for honor and supremacy at the top of the league table. Both sides are yet to lose a game in the current dispensation. That is the 2020-2021 football season. And so referee blast his whistle and Maxwell Hansen gets us into action here at the Nana Fusuji Abua Park and it's a first incursion for the home side Bechem United cleared out of their lines uh, beautifully by Karelis Nuruddin Abdullah. It's good to see him starting. He's been in some fine form. Second half underway. This time around Bechem United will be playing from left to right. They are in the lemon green jerseys. That this is Asante. Santi will have to bring the ball back, finds Charles Osimpim. Osimpim goes to the near side and picks up uh, options as they move forward now. Karela, Yawa champion. He clears out not, not too well though. Advantage is to stay with uh, Clinton. Clinton sends in the cross. The header is on and it's there! Richard Beidou was committed. Very strong start there from Bechem United. The Hunters, they were hunting for the goal. And as early as the second minute inside the second half, have recorded the opener. Clinton Dodu cleverly putting pressure on a Echampo A Echampo brought the ball back in play, refusing for it to go for a corner kick. They capitalized on it, sent in a very good delivery. And Stephen Ozu, who's been more daring than half his goal, want got the very best of efforts to beat Richard Beidou. Good goal for them. Carella will now sneak to fight. Throwing advantage to be taken by Shaibu. He's got options in Kwame Boating, he gets it. Shaibu sends in the cross. The header is on against the goalpost. This could have been a goal, and that is the equalizing goal. That is the equalizing goal from who else but dear Wissi Taylor. He has shown why he's a marksman, and he's got Karela back on level pegging. Quick one to Emmanuel Asante inside the midsections. But it gives the ball away easily as a long ball is sent to the IWC Taylor. But clever from Bosom Ping who wins possession. Picks up on his man. Kofi Abesiba, but it's going to be a quick free kick there for Richem United. Very good position, Godfrey Yabwa. Emmanuel Asante. Former player Kumasi Asante Kotoko Accra Great Olympics with a sweet left foot sent in a hanging cross. Can anybody latch onto it? A clever save for the goalkeeper and the rebound is connected beautifully. And Amalkona, the substitute, becomes the super sub with the second. He picked himself right in front of the goalkeeper inside his area. And after Richard Beidou parried the effort. From her face, Konkoni Wanta with a giant leap. And Mankona was right there with the right spot to connect beautifully beyond the reach of the goalkeeper. Karela United's defense caught ball watching. Free kick quickly taking the long one into the half of the team United. There we see Taylor won the area of tussle this time around. But it falls to Shaibu. Picks up on Richard Beck, who's been pushed from behind. Manages to stay strong on his foot. Down the left-hand side, Shaibu runs into the penalty area. Is it going to be pushed down? But his effort gets right into the waiting hands of Prince Asempa. And the long ball in there, but that will be the final whistle from referee Maxwell Hansen. The Tema Bay's referee who is the logistics officer, calls for the end of the game. And Bechem United continue with their invisibility. Game ends. Karela United have been broken. Bechem United 2, Karela United 1. Coach, thank you very much. And congratulations, you have picked up three maximum points here. How difficult was this game? 
Yeah, the pre-match interview. I told you that the match was not going to be easy. But I said that I was very optimistic that I'm going to get the three points. It was a difficult match. You can, everybody who witnessed it can attest to that fact. But uh, by God's grace and by the hard work of my players and the technical team, we've collected the three points. Does this mean that this will push you gradually towards more success, especially as you inch towards the top of the table? Yeah, we, we are taking the matches one after the other. So once we finish with this one, we are going to think of the next one. And I think that gradually we, we are going up and we'll get there. Okay. Coach, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, sir. Coach, again, congratulations. Your team played quite well. You just did not have that finishing power. Was this a difficult game for you? I told you, there's no cheap team as far as the league is concerned. We came to play with a tougher side, a difficult side, difficult grounds, because I know how this place is. I'm so proud of my boys. They did very well. Chances are created. I will never blame the officiating officials. It means that luck is not on our side today, because you see that we created chances. We could have been up. So I'll go back and do the corrections and prepare towards the other matches. At the end of 90 minutes, the giant in the team of Bechem United and the captain of the team picked up the NASCO player of the match. Moro, congratulations. Okay, how difficult was this match for you? Match Numuhun is saying. First of all, thank you. And I was very much in the boy in a career I own beat inside the Shelly and I said, I think so, be a young show. And I also be a young show, you know, and he's also a very good team. So we prepare, we prepare very, very, very well to meet them. And at the end of the day, I think, say, yet me, I pick up three points now. Yeah. But one of your colleagues, no, it looks like you played according to a set pattern. Mutie coaches no instruction, and I do baby so ye who say you got involved with most of the attacks and most of the defending. Was this the plan for you today? Yeah, I think say okay first half now now game near different because first half now I think say make can say now omu team kita bon karaba yeko dressing room no I think say coaches no omu philosophy now weki today. Yeah. And then what for NASCO player of the match? What you saying? Oh, first of all. Many are because the season now you're a long way to go, and this is the second time, so I'm very grateful. Yeah.